up everybody that's albert here and welcome to the rim break a business podcast recorded while i ride my bicycle how do you like this new intro do you love it do you hate it please let me know just a quick recap of the business this is a chico bag revisited so chico bag was founded by andy keller in chico california It was launched on Earth Day of 2005, and they have a mission to help humanity bag the single-use habit. So to eventually phase off single-use plastic items altogether, from plastic bottles to forks, spoons, bags, etc., if we can reduce these, we'll have less waste and trash on the Earth. Um, They did get involved with a legal dispute with a plastic couple plastic bag companies, uh, because Chico was hurting, Chico Bags was hurting their business, but they eventually settled nine months and $600,000 later. The plastic bag companies did agree to print some tips on how to reuse and to dispose the bags or plastic bags properly. In short, they make reusable bags or Chico Bags makes reusable bags that can be balled up and stowed into one's pocket or clipped onto like a keychain or something. Uh, since they're upcoming, they have expanded their line to a wide range of different reusables from bottle slings to micro bags to larger totes to even produce bags, snack bags, and even like a travel toiletry bag. A Chico bag seems like a thriving and expanding business, and I really hope that they continue to succeed uh, some uh, CEO leadership things that I found were Andy Keller uh, followed the entrepreneurship equation pretty perfectly where he found a problem. He tried uh, to find a way to solve it and to actually uh, put it or actually make something to make a change. In Keller's case, his problem was that He saw lots of waste and plastic bags littering his local area. He solved it by creating a reusable bag to replace uh, single-use items. And this sparked a major change because there's less, uh, less plastic bags roaming around, less stray uh, plastic bags getting caught in fences and all that stuff. And I've been seeing this in my town too. There is a lot more people being more conscious of how they bag their groceries or their shopping stuff too. Especially in younger to- or in towns with younger people, they definitely it's definitely cool to use reusables. And Keller is definitely a man of his word. From my research, he does not use any single-use plastics from single. Uh, single-use forks, bags, cups. He does not use them. He probably doesn't like them either. Um, And prefers to use like reusables like bamboo, the to-go wear, metal tins, all that stuff, all that goodies, all that good stuff. Uh, The business model that Chico Bag follows, they're pretty diverse. So Chico Bag does, I think they do have a uh, pretty good business model. They do a business-to-business and a business-to-consumer business model. They fulfill orders to customers on their website at chukabag.com. And they have their business-to-consumer model where they sell their bags to retailers. Well, I think this is... I got tripped up. My notes are a bit off. So they have their business-to-business model where they sell the bags in bulk to different retailers like a co-op or a grocery store. And then the grocery store or co-op sells the Chico bags in the store to the customers. 
Um, another avenue for sales is their co-branding. Uh, different sustainable, sustainable products from reusable utensils to cotton bags to their Chico bags. There's lots of different items they have in their lineup that are open to be customized. And you can put your logo of your choice, whether that's your business, a nonprofit, or whatever you want to put. Chico bag will accommodate to your likings. Uh, some major changes that I've seen on their website is uh, the material choices for their bags. One of the material choices that they've decided to use is called Repeat, and it's spelt lowercase re uh, p uh, capitalized p e t and a lowercase e. I believe that is a plastic. The p and uh, I will read from their website what I found. So, repeat is a trademark term Chico Bag uses to identify products made from recycled materials. All Chico Bag repeat products contain certified reprieve fabric, which is made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottles. In addition, many products have other recycled components like carabiners, cordings, and cord locks. So they are using recycled, or yeah, uh, post-consumer recycled bottles to make these repeat bags, which is a pretty cool idea. So the bottles that you recycle at a uh, recycling facility that are in the Reprieve program will be recycled and turned into a Chico bag, which is kind of cool. And let's jump into their sustainability aspect. This is where Chico Bag definitely shines. So Chico Bag also implemented a yearly impact report, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty simple and easy to read. It's not like he is where it's like 40 pages of just raw data. I mean, it's still easy to read, but it's just a lot. I mean, it's a bigger company, but this, this Chico one is... 40 or it's four pages super easy to read nice pictures it's it's pretty nice so i highly recommend it. i'll i'll link that in the uh, show notes as well but yeah chico has a yearly impact report um some cool things that i found were they're currently envisioning to help humanity refuse 34 billion single use items by 20 22 their uh, main focuses are on product waste stream and carbon contribution and to do this they're pushing high qu- or high quality reusables to replace single use items such as to go wear bamboo utensils which has an average useful life of 5 years and the stainless steel to go wear containers, which has an average useful life of 10 years. Uh, some other interesting finds that I found in their report was they, uh, they don't use traditional trash cans at their facility. Um, they find and repurpose things that they were going to throw out and use them instead. So I I thought that was a pretty nice touch because it doesn't really make sense to go buy something when you already have something that you're going to throw out, you know? So they're definitely getting a little crafty at the Chico headquarters. Um, Chico Bag is also a certified B Corporation. If you want to learn all about the B Corp, definitely check out my podcast on Allbirds that I did a few weeks ago. I go real deep into that. So definitely, if you want to learn about that, check out Allbirds. Uh, they also are focusing more on their carbon footprint of the company and how they cut their emissions by how they ship. Chico Bag is choosing to ship by sea shipments for it has a lower per product carbon footprint. Chico Bag saw a reduction in electricity use 
by 14% from lighting retrofits, retrofits, heating and air improvements, and general employee education. They're also staying very close to their manufacturing teams, doing visits twice a year to their sewing uh, factories. And in China and in, Cam- and in Cambodia, and they make a trip to the components factory at least one e- once a year. They have a growth mindset of continuous improvement, and this is ver- this is very important in business in a business that wants to stay relevant in the long run. Sustainability wise, Chico's doing an excellent job in what they can do, uh, reducing what they can, and ex- still excelling in producing at a high level. And the pl- Arcata plastic bag research, so I have some awesome work that I found from my old professor, Lana Grafman. Uh, he was a, well, or he was my engineering class professor and there was a project from the same class I took from fall of 2010 and their class research project was Arcata plastic bags. Uh, this project was to explore the impact of single use plastic bags and Arcata and to educate arguments over the merits of single use plas- plastic bag ban. Arcata is a pretty small town and in the research they look at the low end of the spectrum. Assuming each resident uses about 500 single use bags a year, so assuming 6,000 residents use 500 bags a year, they were working with 3 million bags a year for the for the town and in total or the total energy in megajoules were 2,209,326 megajoules this uh, was comprised of disposable transportation energy import transportation energy bag manufacturer energy and feedstock energy. Some notable comparisons they found were that the energy use for 3 million bags could be saved by 300 the Kinleyville residents commuting from Arcata for an entire school year by bike instead of car. And the amount of energy use for 3 million bags is equal to over 1,000 one-way trips to San Francisco in a 2010 Chevy Tahoe. As you can see, just reducing our plastic bag consumption can affect any community significantly. Imagine scaling this up to a city like NYC, where they have about 8, almost 9 million people. That comes out to like 4 billion bags a year. If everyone was assigned their average uh, 500 bags per year, that's that's pretty crazy. It's also pretty disgusting, but this shows a lot of room for improvement in what the city can do. And if you're curious and want to learn more about the research project, I will link the project in the show notes below. And the customer experience part, my favorite part, and... This is just going to be a personal review because I've stumbled upon a couple of their products of Chico Bag. And I'll just jump right into it. So I first heard about Chico Bags from my first startup weekend in Chico. One of the prizes in like a bundle was a Chico Bag. I didn't really think much of it back then. I just thought it was a reusable bag. And then a few years later, I was walking to the grocery store. I saw a little green pouch on the parking lot and I picked it up, pretty curious about it. I undid the drawstring and boom, it turned into a full size shopping bag. And this was one of the Chico bags. I didn't know where to go or who to ask to give it back because the parking lot was pretty empty. So I just took it for myself. I then went to the grocery store and did my uh, grocery shopping and used the little Chico bag. My first impressions were that it was a strong, lightweight option to use rather than their 
uh, other boxier reusable competitors 